What's up everybody? Pocket Start here to show you part four in this tutorial series on how to reskin a classic iOS game. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resize these images so they'll fit in the game, and we will swap these out for the, some of the main characters in the game as well. So let's get started. Now the first thing we need to do is locate the main characters so we know what size we need our characters to be in order to swap them out. So we're actually going to click on the finder here. We're going to go into the finder, and then you're going to look for your source code, and it's going to set mine says circle birdie, and yours says might could say jello or jelly splash or whatever. And we're going to hit that. We're going to hit flow. We're going to follow the main folders. We're going to go through resources, uh, UI for user interface, and ball. Now here we are to the main characters of the game, and that is that is these cute little birds. So now. As you can see, here we have our pixel size right here. We have 190 by 190 for the retina display, and we have 95 by 95 pixels for the non-retina display. So <clears throat> those are our two sizes. Now what we need to do is create those here within Photoshop. So now we're going to click File, and we're going we're gonna to hit New here, and we're going to call this the, um, the uh, HD size, HD sizes. And this is going to be 190 by 190. Okay. There we have it. And then we need to create another one here. We're going to click File. We're going to hit New. And then we're going to say, we're going to call this one um, <clears throat> Non HD Sizes. And this one is going to be 95 by, whoop, 95 by 95. We're going to hit it. Okay. So there we are. Now, next thing we want to do is we actually want to drag our layer or one of the, our, each character one by one into these uh, folders. So now we're going to click uh, layer here. I'm going to grab this blue soccer ball and show you all something. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to drag it right here. And now we're going to actually resize it. So we're going to hit Command T for free transform function and we are just going to move it around and we're going to fit it within this space here so now we're going to hit enter and voila there's our not our first character our HD uh, display so the next thing we need to do is we don't need to have this white background right here we can get rid of that however now you see we have a little bit of a problem this should not be transparent we want a color here for each one otherwise if we put this in the game then the board and the background are going to show through the soccer ball now we don't want that so let's actually let's delete this so we're going to hit the delete button there and we're going to go back right here and we're just going to paint these little uh, these panels on the soccer ball so we're going to click the paint function right here and we want gray as you see this one's gray right here we're going to do the same thing we're just going to get each panel that is transparent and we're going to make it gray. So, all right, and there we are. Now, same, we're going to go back and do the exact same thing. So, we're going to grab it now with the move tool and we're going to drag it on up and into this tab right here. And we're going to do the free transform function again, command T. And we're going to drag this around until it fits perfectly. And there we are. Um, and now we're going to take the background away and perfect. So now our soccer ball is no longer transparent. So now we're going to do the same thing um, for our non HD size. So we're going to go back to our soccer ball page. We're going to click this one right here. Once again, we're going to drag it and we're going to put it through this uh, tab and we're going to let go right there and there it is so we're going to hit the command trans the free transform button again so command T and we're going to fit this within the picture and there it is perfect so removing the background and all we have now is just the soccer ball nothing else so now we need to get each one of these images into the game we need to swap it out for the little birdie so Next we're going to do is we're going to go back in our finder. We're going to see it right here. And now we know we need to save it as 0-HD and 0.PNG. So we're going to minimize this again. 
Um, now we're going to save it. You're going to click File, you click Save As, and here we have, you're going to go through your source code again. You're going to click here for me is Circle Birdie, following the folders, flow, resources, UI, ball, and right here. Here we have a little birdie. So this is the first one. This is the HD display. So we're going to click that, and as you can see, it pops up right here. That's what we need to save it as. And we need to change the format to the portable network format, PNG. So there we are. Everything looks good, and we're going to hit save. Now it's going to prompt you. It's going to say, this file already exists. Do you want to replace it? And we're going to hit replace. Always replace. That is key. So now we're going to do the same thing for the non retina display ball. And we're going to click on it. And now we're going to hit File, Save As. And we're going to do the same thing. Here we are. Here's a little birdie. We're going to click it. And that's what we want to save it as. We're going to change the format now. We're going to change it to PNG. And now we are going to hit Save once again. So, and yes, we want to replace. That's a good thing. Whenever this pops up, that is what you want because we're not adding images into the folder we are replacing all the images so if that command if that little warning doesn't prompt then you might need to do a double uh, double check it and make sure that that image actually swapped with another image and wasn't just added like there was an extra image in the folder so now we're going to do it for one more of these soccer balls and let's just do the yellow one right here so we're going to make sure we have that layer and we do so now we want to re we want to paint this one gray as well. So we're going to click the panels here. There we go. And perfect. So that one is done. Now we're going to go back right here and let's see. We're going to actually delete each of the images right here. So you're just going to click, make sure the layer is highlighted, and just hit delete. So now we're going to use the move tool and we're just going to drag it into each one and we're going to release it now. All right, free transform tool, command T. All right, move it around until it fits. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to hit enter and removing the background. And now we're going to hit file, save as. And here we are again. This is the birdie we want to replace right here. We want to replace the blue one. One dash HD, perfect. Change the format here. All right, and now we're going to hit save and replace. Excellent. And now we're going to do it one more time. We're going to drag this over to the non retina display folder. We're going to hit free transform command T, slide it around. Okay, excellent. Enter. And then File, Save As. And then, well, actually, whoop, didn't almost forgot the background there. So, here we go. Same thing. File, Save As. And we're going to click the little blue birdie right there. 1.png. Good. Click that. Save. Replace. Perfect. Now we have a couple of game images in there. So, Next thing I'm going to do is we're actually going to see these images within the game. So we're going to go and Xcode here. We, you're going to open up your source code, or for me, mine's going to be um, Circle Birdie. And we're going to hit Product, and we're going to click Clean. Now, that's important because that refreshes the source code. And that now the birdies have officially been swapped with the two soccer balls that we put in. So now we're going to simulate it. We're going to hit, we're going to make sure we have our 4S simulator right there. We're going to hit play. All right, it's going to build for a second. All right, and now we are going to pull our simulator up. And we're going to wait for it to load. There it is. Okay, and now we're going to hit free play. We're going to go to the first board right here, and voila, there we have our soccer balls already within the game. So now you can see the gameplay, well, now you can see the game sort of taking shape here. 
same concept, sliding them around, matching the similar colors, and they are there that we have replaced the red bird and the blue bird, and now these colors are where those birds were. So, imagine those, and there we are. So, I was in in essence of just keeping this video at a um, at a within a decent time frame. Um, I'm going to let you all go ahead and finish, do the rest of the birdies, or do the rest of the characters within your game, swap all of them out, and, um, and then we'll see you in the next tutorial. Later.